Hey, what? Ah, why does it always have to change right when I get here? <laughs> All right, what is up, guys? Hey, I just wanted to make a um, a really quick video talking about some things that I've been seeing popping up on the YouTube's a lot, and I don't know if it's just because I watch them, so it keeps feeding me more and more and more of them. Or if it's just becoming a trend and it's something that I want to talk about because I do have a lot of new beginner riders that watch my videos on here. And so I feel like it's probably something I need to talk about. Because I want you all to be safe. I want you all to be careful and, and you know not get injured or anything. I don't know, this guy's trying to race me and maybe he wants my lane so I'm going to just let him get ahead of me for a second I don't know what he's doing whatever anyway so I've been seeing a lot of these videos and shorts and stuff pop up that'll say that they're intended for new writers beginner writers and they'll say if you don't want to look like a beginner don't do these things and and it's like okay yeah i get it nobody wants to be out here on the road and just be like obviously a beginner rider you know but like uh, i think I'm, i mean that's just an ego thing you guys you got to cut that out um but they'll say things like sitting at a red light putting both your feet down on the floor if you have both your feet on the floor you're gonna look like a beginner and people are gonna think things about you I promise you nobody's thinking anything about you. If you're new to riding and and not only do you have to get comfortable riding and then you have to get comfortable riding in traffic and then you have to get comfortable stopping at a red light and going without stalling the bike and all these things you got so much on your plate if you need to put both your feet down on the floor to sit there comfortably put both your feet on the floor <laughs> i it's just i i see these things and some of them i just i just don't understand because i think what your main focus should be when you're starting out is just being safe being safe and i want to say uh, when I started out, I think my first ride I went on was like I wanted it to be my last ride. It was miserable because I was really bad at the clutch when it comes to stopping at red lights and stop signs and things like this. Um, and then the same thing when the first when the first uh, person in a car cut me off, I got so scared. I was like, I can't do this anymore. There was a lot of times where I got nervous to get on the road again and but the thing is these things happen like if this is something you're passionate about and you really want to try focus on being safe you're gonna stall at a red light it's okay it's okay i stalled and then i didn't know how to get the bike back on after stalling i'm still in first gear uh what do i do oh i gotta uh go into neutral turn on the power or i could you know now i know you oh yeah you could still be in first just pull in the clutch and it'll allow you to turn it on again and it's a lot easier because then you can just go but there's all these things like i stalled at a red light and it took me a while fumbling to try to figure it out and then there was a car behind me beep 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 beep, beep. impatient and i'm just like dude just go around me there's like a, there's a lane to my right nobody's there go around me nope they just decided they want to sit there and beep at me these things happen these things happen and they happen for a while um so while you're learning just focus on learning focus on being safe focus on learning and don't worry about what people think about you so if you're new and you're looking up stuff about beginner riders and you come across these videos that are saying like like how to act so you don't look like a beginner rider um just don't pay attention to that focus on focus on what you have to focus on right now who cares man and if it makes you feel any better i'll sit here with both feet on the ground 
I don't care. Oh no, the person behind me is going to think I'm a beginner. Oh no. Wah. Who cares? You know, it just puts more on your plate. And then, like, if you're out here riding and you're, and you're, like, nervous and you're learning and you don't know what to do, and then you throw all these other things because you're worried about your, dang, your darn ego, you throw all these other things on top of that. Like, look, I just hit neutral on accident. Oh, no, it's, it's the end of the world. Um, the more you add to your plate the worse the experience is going to be and the more likely you are to have an accident so don't worry about those things that's just i don't know i don't know i was expecting to be doing a little bit more riding in this uh in this video but i've been just sitting behind cars this entire time um it's busy time right now and i guess i did chose the wrong way to I did choose the wrong way to ride today, but we'll go ahead and get on the freeway here. Um, also, hey, um, if it dispels some fears of the freeway, I remember when I started, since I'm going on the freeway right now, I might as well bring that up. Um, when I first started, I was afraid of the freeway because it's faster, but I wanted, from the experience of riding for a while, the freeway to me now feels a lot safer than riding through town with all the stop and go and the crossroads and things like that. On the freeway, unless there's an accident, everybody is going in one direction on your part of the freeway and they're all going the same speed. And again, unless there's an accident because there could be an accident and people have to stop. You do have to pay attention. But for the most part, when you're on the freeway, you've got your speed and then you just go. And in my opinion and from my experience, this has actually been safer than taking trips through town where people are changing lanes and people are stopping and going and somebody's walking across the street and all these things. So, um, I know it can be kind of intimidating because the speed's faster, uh, but it's honestly not that bad. As long as when you're beginning, you're just not that person that needs to go a hundred on the freeway. Like this guy here is going below the speed limit and I could freak out about it and go around him, but like, why why who cares <laughs> you know it doesn't matter you know it's like it just just chill i mean like you could just chill you know i just like i'm not gonna ever encourage a person who's beginning to take their one of their hands off the off the uh handlebars here but like like literally you could just make yourself comfortable Oh, it's so scary. I mean, you guys can't see me, but I'm just resting my hand on my chin and just chilling. I mean, you can even lay down. You can take a nap. Just take a nap. <laughs> so it's it's actually not that intimidating. Um, yeah, yeah, no. I just wanted to throw that out there. The main point of this video was uh, just to be weary of these things. I see it a lot. If you're beginning, uh, I've, like I said, I've got a lot of people who are new riders that uh, have been watching my videos and stuff like that. I do want to, I always, always want to encourage you guys to be safe. And I think the last thing that needs to be on your mind is what you look like while you're on the motorcycle. And yes, I know there's a lot of people who buy a motorcycle because they want to look cool. Typically, those are the ones that get injured. <laughs> if you're doing it for a passion you guys will understand where I'm at and you probably don't even need to watch this if it's a passion and you guys don't care what you look like you just want to ride because it's fun uh, then you guys will understand and maybe you've come across these videos and had the same opinion as I have now, I see them a lot again it might just be because of like what YouTube thinks I want to see at this point but I've just been seeing them pop up. Most of them have been popping up around the same time. Were made around the same time. So I just, I don't know if it's like a trendy thing now 
or whatever but I think it's worth ignoring that's my opinion I don't think it's worth paying any attention to because again you've got enough on your plate learning how to safely ride in traffic to even like care about how you look while doing it so that's that's all i really got to say hey you guys um thanks for being here and i really appreciate it if you guys have been enjoying like just they're driving around and just having conversations you know about whatever um feel free to subscribe to the channel uh, i'm probably going to be making hundreds more like this because i've found a, a cadence that i enjoy and i feel like right now i'm happy so i'm sticking to it <laughs> so uh if you guys want to see more like this then yeah uh, just yeah yeah you guys know thanks for being here guys i hope you all have a wonderful day stay safe on the road and just enjoy it so yeah peace